in Mega Man Unlimited, Mega Man has managed to preserve world peace by defeating the evil Dr. Wily once more. But only a few months after Mega Man's last victory over the evil scientist, eight more robots claiming to be working for Dr. Wily started a revolt, plunging the world into chaos once again. Hello everyone, it's just George here with a review for you, and after about a century of playing Mega Man Unlimited, I defeated it, and I'm here to review it. So Mega Man Unlimited is not just an exceptional fan-made video game, it's mostly a challenging and rewarding homage to Mega Man with enough content to satisfy the average arcade-style video game player. It's able to make me angry, happy, and it brought a casual feel in some various parts which some people might think is unbalanced, but I think it can provide a fun experience. The main problem the game lacks in is music, and yes, the opening song does deliver a well startup to the game, some tracks got stuck in my head, but it wasn't enough to make me feel emerged in the soundtrack and it didn't really add to the experience of the levels. Now with that out of the way, I can talk about the difficulty. I legit started playing this game on easy, and it took me from April to now. The difficulty is probably the main selling point of the game, because it makes you feel like you've learned the tricks the hard way, and it makes you want to beat the level so badly, you would probably end up jumping and screaming for joy, and to the people who played the game, don't tell me that you didn't do that when you beat any of the bosses. My point is that the difficulty is what makes you fall in love with the game. Now my thoughts on the homage to the Mega Man franchise. So this game is a perfect clone of Mega Man, which is awesome because it's a fan interpretation of Mega Man because it's essentially handled like a finale to the original Mega Man series, which is an interesting take on the franchise that the official games never came up with. This game seems like the quintessential Mega Man game, and it's able to give off the feel of being like a final adventure of Mega Man, even down to the game mechanics. You can shoot three power pellets, slide under platforms, and features Rush Coil and Rush Jet to aid you in the levels. Now I am glad that the game lets you switch out to use a controller, but the button input is lagged ever so slightly, it gives off the feel that this game was meant for a keyboard, combined with how the levels were made for quick movements, and yes, I think this is a problem for this game specifically, because people are used to playing Mega Man on a controller, and they'll have to get used to a keyboard for this reason. But on a side note, I do think it's great how the game lets you use a quick gear button to switch in and out of power-ups, until you get further in the game because you would have so many power-ups that it would take time for you to switch to the power-up that you want, which isn't essential for gameplay because parts of the levels need very quick movements and also quick power-up switching, and it would get better off because you can just pause to the menu to switch power-ups. The story is the icing on the cake because, like I said before, it feels like a final adventure for Mega Man, and it provides enough story without making too many cutscenes. Now, if you don't want any spoilers for the game, which I do recommend, then just click on the annotation to skip ahead of the video. The absolute best part of the game was the ending, because it's epic how you face off against base, Dr. Wily turns out to be behind the plan, you defeat him, go find his secret project, which turns out to be zero, he kicks your behind, you get your arm torn off and aren't able to use any power-ups to get out of the castle just in time. This was amazing! It pulled off being a very cinematic ending with just enough control in your hands, and you have to finish this epic story. Another note is that I always felt like the Mega Man franchise and Mega Man X franchise were not connected enough. Like, X did not feel enough like a sequel to Mega Man. This game perfectly connects the two, and it really makes it feel like Dr. Wily did create Zero, and Dr. Light did create X. Overall, I give this game an 8, because it definitely is an exceptional fan-made Mega Man game, and is very impressive, because in my opinion, this was way better than some of the original Mega Man games. Oh, and by the way, it's free, so at least give it a shot on your PC. Now that's all I have for today, guys. Be sure to check out the TechSub channel, because lots of guys post videos here all the time. It's just George here, signing off. Peace out!